One of the most important things about Moya Moya is that it is a disease, it's a condition that really requires a very uh, sophisticated array of care to be brought to bear on the child once the diagnosis is made. And one of the really great things about here at Children's Hospital is that we have a multidisciplinary team that can provide the services you need for Moya Moya. A lot of the times once a diagnosis is made, the initial focus is on the surgery and who the surgeons are that may be able to provide the operation. But really there's a whole host of steps that are important to making sure that the treatment is done successfully. This involves the uh, radiology team uh, being able to obtain the appropriate studies, both MRIs and angiograms. Uh, obtaining appropriate angiographic studies are critical to the uh, safety and success of surgery in most cases and can be a little tricky in these kids. Uh, so uh, fortunately we have a team that's uh, very well skilled in the ability to perform these tests both safely and to give us the data we need to plan surgery appropriately. Um, another thing that's very important and really critical in the care for these kids is the anesthetic management. Um, they can be very complicated in terms of blood pressure shifts, making sure that the brain gets appropriately uh, good blood supply during the case. Um, and as part of that, we have a really skilled neuroanesthesia team that sees probably more Moya Moya than pretty much any other place in the world for children. And we've been very fortunate to work with them in coordinating the care both before the surgery and after. Um, this goes hand in glove with our intraoperative neurology team. Um, part of the way we try to make the surgery safer is that we monitor the kids uh, with EEG, sort of uh, assessing their brain waves during the case so we can uh, adopt our anesthetic management appropriately during the surgery and keep it as safe as possible. And so we interact with the neurologist to help to provide this type of monitoring during the case. Um, when the case is done, uh, all the children are watching the intensive care unit and it's very important to have a group of intensivists who are familiar with this condition because sometimes the way that problems can present can be very subtle or unusual if people haven't seen this routinely. Uh, and this goes not only for the ICU physicians but the great nurses we have both in the ICU and on our floor who see these kids all the time. And so there's really a whole host of people that are involved in the care of these patients uh, during their stay in the hospital for their operation, for their recovery, and then ultimately long term we have a dedicated stroke clinic which have a whole panoply of services, neurocognitive services, neurology services, radiographic services, uh, which really help us with the long term follow up of these kids. So they're complicated patients. Uh, we're fortunate to have a really great success rate in treating them and part of the reason we succeed is not just uh, the surgery we're able to provide but the really great team we have to make sure the surgery is done safely and the follow up is done to make sure that they're really taken care of well.